Hey there and welcome. In this video, um, I'm going to show you how to create a simple Instagram reel with images that just transition, a very soft, soothing movement. And think of this as being a kind of a replacement for just maybe three or four, however many still images that you would post as a carousel. This is a really easy one to create and it's one that doesn't make your audience dizzy. <laughs> this training actually came about because of a question I had asked on Instagram uh, about reels. And so I want to show you how I created the reel that I actually posted um, and so that you can create one as well. Now I am using Canva. So I'm in my Canva account. So what you want to do is once you create, you can do this free, uh, create a design and just go ahead and type in a reel at the top. And then the first thing that will pop up is Instagram reel. And then you can just choose that. And now I've already uploaded my images into my upload section here. And of course, I'm not going through extensive Canva training here. I'm just showing you how to do it in Canva. If you have never used Canva and this is a little confusing, you might want to go back and actually watch the Canva training. Um, okay, so I've got my images that I want to use and I have my uh, my file here that's going to be for my reel and I'm going to go ahead and click it and give it a name. I often like to give it a name at the top that starts with whatever platform it goes to and I'm just going to say MTU sample. That way I know what it is. So we have this blank canvas now and what we want to do is add our still images. I'm just going to use photos. I'm not going to use video for this. I really want to just show you how you can do this with just your images. So I'm going to go ahead and click the first image and right click on it and you can click set image as background. And if you double click it, um, you can see the bounding box here. Uh, so just wanted you to know that that uh, is fit into that particular space. Now I want to put three of these in so I'm going to go ahead and create another one and I'll create a third. So once again, I'm going to just click on the image, right click, set images background. And then the last one, we'll do three, just like the one I did on Instagram. Click the image, right click, and set image as background. Okay. Um, I'm going to open this one up a little bit because I can actually change this one because this is a square image. Um, so the image, you can see if you double click, um, if you double click on it, and because it's square, I can hold my mouse down and actually drag this to a different position. And I want the image to be more that way. And then I'm gonna click done. Okay, that's perfect. Now this image I think might be square as well. It is, so I'm gonna move this over a little bit more and hit done. Okay, this first image was um, vertical and it wasn't square, so I couldn't change that one. Okay, so now I've got my three images. Now what I want to do now is I want to set the duration for each one of these. Think of these as just little video clips now, even though they're not moving video, they're going to be considered part of the reel as you know a clip in it. So right now the clip is at five seconds and I can change this uh, by clicking in here and I can go up to the timing and I can type in the number or I can scroll until I get what I want. So let's make it six seconds. And you'll notice apply to all pages, meaning each one of these pages, if I click on this, you'll see down here, each one of these is five. I've changed this one to six. And if I click apply to all, it's now gonna change the timing for all of these. And that's pretty good uh, practice when you're doing these individual images. Okay, so six seconds, and that gives me a total of 18 seconds for this reel, okay? And you can make it however uh, each of these in length you want up to, I believe right now, 60 seconds and um, or a minute, and I believe they're even moving towards 90 seconds. But okay, so the next thing we want to do is add the transition. Now, what do I mean by that? So let's take a look by clicking this play button, and you're going to see when it transitions from this to this how abrupt it is. So we've got six seconds, it's playing, it's playing, that's actually kind of long, and then boom, it just goes to the next one. And I'm gonna make this a little bit um, smaller or shorter. You can also drag, grab a hold of this, and you can drag until you get to the seconds you want. 
Um, I think I'll go back to five and I don't have the option to apply it to all of them when I do it here, but if I click on that and I go up to the timer and we go to five, I can apply it to all of them up there. So now we're at five. Okay, so hover between these here and you're gonna see a plus. So you're gonna click on the plus and right below it, it's kind of a weird little symbol, but you're gonna click on that symbol and then a box is gonna come up over here on the left. It's gonna give you your options for different transitions. So this is a slide or a dissolve. Here's a slide, circle, line. I don't know what that one is. Actually, I kind of like that one. I don't think that's a paid feature. It doesn't show that it is. I'm gonna go ahead and use the dissolve. Now, down at the bottom, you're gonna see apply between all pages. So these are your clips or your pages. So if I click on that, it's gonna automatically apply it to all the positions that are in between each. So that's a quick and easy way to do it if you want them all to be the exact same transition, which in this case we do. Okay, um, and that's all we have to do. So now let's take a look at what it looks like. So up here in the top, we're gonna to click on this little triangle here, it says it's 14 seconds, it's gonna open up our reel now in a, in a box, a pop-up, and then you can see the transitions. Now, the one I originally posted on Instagram, they didn't transition, the slides were less than five seconds. But this is actually a very nice um, timing, it's a good timing, and actually we got a time change on here, this changed to four seven, so let's go back and change those so they're all consistent. Okay, now they're all 4.5. Okay, so now, uh, again, you can press up here to play or you can press down here and just see it right here in this window. This up here will open it up into a pop-up. And so now we can see uh, what our reel looks like. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now I wanna hit on share and I wanna go to download. And now we wanna download this as a video, which is going to likely be what is suggested for you. And then all three pages, meaning one, two, three, we want all of these in here, and we're just going to click download. And then it will download that as a video file that you can then upload to your Instagram account. And I'm going to show you, because I often will create these, and then I will save them into my drafts folder under Reels so that I can just post them later. Um, it's more convenient to do that than it is to huh, have uh, doing it often on the fly. And sometimes I might create one and go, oh, I'm going to create another one and I don't want to post them all at the same time. Okay, so now we've downloaded our file and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to upload that to um, your, um, your account on Instagram. Now, what I need to do though, and I could download this on my phone in the app, which I probably should have done that, but I'm showing you here. It's easier for me to record this process on the computer. So if you use the app, you can download it to your phone, you know, right from your app. Or the other way to do this, and this is what I generally will do, because I like working big screen because it's it helps me um, just see everything. It's just easier for me, I'm kind of old school, is we can actually put this onto our phone. And so what I'm gonna do, and if you're not familiar with AirDrop, um, let me go ahead and bring up the screen that will show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm on an iPhone, so AirDrop, I'm gonna select the video. This is the video we just created, and I just drag it, I'm in my Finder, I drag it over to AirDrop. I'm holding on to it, and then I come over here until I see my phone and let go and then now that will, it's sending it to my phone and then I can upload it to my Reels and I'm gonna show you that here in a second. Again, you could just go into the app on your phone and that would be easier but again, I prefer to work on a bigger screen. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is uploading it into just your drafts so that you can post it. Okay, so the next step is to get it into Instagram. So in Instagram, um, you can either do this from your home page or the actual feed page, but at the very top on the right, there's a plus. You're gonna click on that, and I'm gonna tap on Reel. 
And this is where the window comes up so that you can create a reel or if you have something already created, you can just put it in that way. So I'm the bottom left corner and I tap on the plus and I'm going to hit that video. So this is the video we just created in Canva that I've downloaded and it's just adding it now. And in the top right corner, I'm going to click on add. Now, just for the benefit of getting this in here, the next thing I'm going to do is click next. And so now I can actually see the video and this is where I can add um, music. I can add text, um, any, any, um, uh, quizzes, captions, polls. They've actually added these in. You can do the, um, the slider thing. So these are things you can add if you want to. There's a few that they've added to the features. And then once you're finished and sometimes I just get the video in there, I don't really do anything until I'm ready, but sometimes I do. I hit next and now the video brings up a screen where you can write your caption. You can share it to your feed. You can choose to turn that off if you want. But in the bottom left corner, you're going to see save draft. So if you tap on that, and then I'm going to hit the X in the upper left corner and that takes me out of it. And so let's go down to where my reels are. And those are right down here. Um, you'll see your grid. And then to the right of that, you see that little, now we've selected reels. And then you can see that very first box says drafts. And so if I tap on that, I'm going to see the drafts that I have in here. And then when I'm ready to either edit or post it, I just go back in there and tap it. And then I can go in and add my caption. I can click edit in the upper right corner and go back in and add text if I want or any of the things, music, whatever, and then hit next. And then when I'm ready to post it, I just hit share in the bottom right corner and then it will share it. And as long as I have also shared a feed, then it will appear in the feed. So let's see what that looks like. Cause I've already posted this one, right? And so now if you look the very first one here in the upper left corner is the one that I did that I've already posted. And the, the cover photo is of me holding the little bowl with the pastels in it, but it is a reel. So if I tap on it, it's going to bring up that particular reel. And then if I wanted to look at the comments, that's where I can tap new or can see my caption and the comments and everything. So that's the one I'd already posted. But again, I just uploaded that other version of it and here it is. Now I don't want to load that. So I'm going to go up to select, tap the little circle in the upper right corner and then down at the bottom hit discard because I don't really want to keep that in there because I'm not going to post that one. And that's all you have to do. Uh, to get your um, reel uh, from your camera roll into Instagram. So if you have any questions on creating those in Canva and getting them into your Instagram, please just let me know and reach out. And hey, when you do one and you post it, tag me so I can see it. All right. Have an awesome day. Bye.